nobody under the table. Just yeah. how I said yeah. the Big Yavo shit. Why just him? Why y'all just saying he fell off? Yeah, yeah. A lot of artists fell off. Step back and look. Yeah. And pay attention. They change not as big as they was. No. They cars ain't as fast. That's real. <laughs> they the weed they smoking not they blunts not as big. It's a lot of niggas who fell off over the years, bro. Yeah. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I, I man, I gotta go back to Lil Boosie for a second because I was like, man, you interview his brother all the time. Yeah, do you ever brother. think that's gonna like affect you and Boosie's I relationship? Don't see how. You don't even because you just doing the interview. Yeah, I'm just doing the interview. We post Boosie all the time. On so Bonsai what? Cheese. What? What? Uh, what? I mean, because that's something that they they struggle with. That's touchy. You know what I'm saying? That's a touchy situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it but is. at the end of the day. It's like, man, you want to see him get a, get through it. No, bro. and I said that in our Damn. last interview, but I only speak on the things that Boosie speaks on on Vlad. That's all. So I don't go into the personal shit. I only ask some questions about what Boosie said about him on Vlad. Outside of that, if it's not on the internet, I don't. you don't got to tell me. Wow. So I just make sure I keep it, everything that's on the internet, on the internet. I don't try to, you know, Boosie's a legend, but, you know, niggas just still got to be fair, too. You know what I'm saying? You going on Adam 22? Y'all, you going to get make the number? Yeah, I'm going no, I'm going no jumper. He been calling me for the last three years. I just ain't been to L.A. Yeah, since think, the pandemic. I think you should go because, like I said, it's every... I seen Half Pint on there and... Uh, and he got a lot of flack for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> what you... I mean, you know, you know how to interview, too, though. You've been, yeah. you, you been interviewing so many people, but when you first got on the other side of that table, yeah. how was that it's for you? It's a difference, isn't Man, you, it's certain, different, right? certain things you got to say because people are holding your word to a certain standard and, you know, it's just certain words you got to say and, but, you know, can't put no... Can't throw nobody under the table. Just yeah. how I said yeah. the Big Yabo shit. Why just him? Why y'all just saying he fell off? Yeah, yeah. A lot of artists fell off. Step back and look. Yeah. And pay attention. They change not as big as they was. No. They cars ain't as fast. That's real. <laughs> they The weed they smoking not, they blunts not as big. It's a lot of niggas who fell off over the years, bro. Yeah, They yeah. still got the same jewelry that they had. You know, jewelry rappers, God, they got to change their shit every year. Yeah, yeah. That's why I hate, ooh, rappers. It's expensive. It's such being a rapper. It's expensive. Because you can't do nothing you did last year. Every year got to be, it's a lot of rappers who fell off. So, mentioning Rainwater, just mentioning Big Abo, that's he's full of shit for that. <laughs> and I love, and I fuck with Rain, but he's full of shit for that. Wow, it's man. a lot of rappers who fell off, bro. How do you how do you plan to maintain the success? You know, a lot of people talk about Master P, and I know Slim doesn't say it like yeah. like Master P fell off. Like we talking about the fall off thing, but he don't look fall off to me. He look yeah. like he living real good. But Cereals like, how do you and noodles? And that's what I'm saying. The cereal, noodles, all the stuff he doing on the back burner. But how do you avoid? How are you going to keep the success going forever and, and change um, generations? Keeping it innovative. Uh, Keatlin, what I mean by that is, like I say, investing in myself, keeping people on my platform that people want to see, uh, bringing people on my platform that people may not expect. Like fucking, I told, I said on my interview, I want to interview Jordan's son, Michael Jordan's oh, yeah. son. That'd be hard. Why the fuck you piping down, pipping? Uh, exactly. That'd be hard. Like, why, like daughter. It, yeah, like Obama's daughter. Like, is this pe staying innovative and and bringing personalities on? That's why I said I like No Jumper because. Adam 22 can make money without being there. He can have um, his- Brick Baby, uh, Wack 100, all them boys is just short, pulling up. And they just short, talking. for sure. And they just talking and they the, the CEO's not there. No. So it's just different things that you just gotta do to keep shit going and it's just bigger than me. Like I just gotta cr keep creating new personalities and you know, the Charleston White thing's going great. Uh, the FYBJ man shit is going great. They bring thousands of dollars to the show. That's why yeah. I pay them good. You figured out. Like you Charleston White's out. making like a good 100000 a year for me. Yeah, yeah, you figured it like, out. You know what uh, it takes. I know what it takes. And, uh, you know, he delivers. And it's just about them delivering. And that's my only advice for you. It's just like, I know, you know. I was about to ask you about Boss Talk 101. Now, yeah. we've been steadily going up, but I always ask you. But I can you go back good to too. each episode where I came and asked like, Sean Cotton High's Boss Talk 101 doing. We still, yeah. you know, we hear, mm -hmm. but what do you see when you look at the, the, I, the I brand? I see in, investing in yourself. Like, I, oh, the yeah. first thing I said when I came here was like, God damn. <laughs> but I just feel like guess. Like, you always, and you are you do a good, good job at that. Like, it was a point in time you had hella people from L.A. coming in Oh, here. yeah, they still coming, you too. You know what I'm saying? Hell, yeah. But it was just like, just, just, just being youthful. 
Stay youthful. Yeah. Because the kids run this shit. They run YouTube, bro. That's hard. Whatever they say is hot, it's hot. Um, when artists come to the city, shit, have them tap in. Yeah. Like people come in here and do shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shit's like... We get up and move around too. We were just in Chicago, move, so we move around. around. You move around. You don't be there. No, you don't move around. Yeah, like the them. They don't be there. They yeah. just the camera guys. Because there. And people <laughs> and a lot of street cats kind of they a lot of street cats they try to say, uh, "Oh, Sean's scared. He don't be outside." And but you gotta understand, I can interview somebody in New York, L.A., Miami in fucking two hours by doing this shit. I have a cameraman in every city, bro. Wow. Every city, Atlanta, Florida. Vegas, LA, Chicago, Philly, DC, New York. Hey, such and such is there. Hey, can we uh and that's how we do it. That's hard. Because now I don't have to pay to travel. That's right. That's eating up your profits now. That's right. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's thinking smarter, not harder. And a lot of these people are stuck in their old ways. That's why I was talking about gutter. It ain't two thousand five no more. Like, and it's no hate, but you just gotta change with the times. Wow, man, thank you so much for coming on the show. What else you got for my boy, That's man? It. Sean Cotton came in and did it again. Man, listen, man, thank you so Look, much. Look, win, lose, or draw, like, when I lost that fight, I just want to say this, too. I was going viral, but everybody takes L's. They just don't post them on the internet. I mm -hmm. took my, I took an L. Yeah. Everybody has L's. Um, Give me a story about Big D. Are you still going back to Big D one yeah, more time? Yeah, I, I want to start because uh, that's one thing I enjoyed at the funeral is the fact that when people were going up and telling, you know, story. memories of different situations. I love that. Uh, me and Colton, uh, which is his cousin, and yeah. I grew up with Colton. Uh, yeah, he told me that was your best friend. Colton's my best friend. Uh, been in shootouts with him. Almost died a few times with him. Colton's crazy. Shout out to Colton, too. Like, he really changed his life around. I'm talking about a guy who, man, like... Almost went down for a murder case, like from being in shootouts. Christmas Eve, I was in a crazy shootout with him. I almost wow. died, crazy, bro. Like he's the Colson is the reason why I never want to be in the streets because of the shootouts I was in that almost killed me Man. on Christmas Eve. What? Picture getting killed on Christmas Eve, bro. That crazy. So it was just like it just being in a shootout with him on Northwest Highway. Um, that that changed my life, and you know, shout out to Colton. Um, you know. Man, but Colton's his cousin. So me and Colton had a studio, and uh, we it was like four hundred dollars. That it, the the studio was like four hundred dollars a month. We couldn't meet, we couldn't meet rent. That's how I met, this how I met Big D. We couldn't meet rent, so we sitting in Colton's Camaro and we looking at each other like, bro, what the fuck we gonna do, bro? Like we don't have the money, like, and I'm tired of spending this four hundred dollars. We're never here, and that's how I met Big D. Big D came and met. Big D came and saved the studio. Damn. Wow. And at first I was like, man, who the fuck is this big ass dude? Like, man, he in here trying to run shit with his deep ass voice talking about some what up though. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck? <laughs> that was him, boy. What so, up though? But nah, man, Big D. And then the, I think me, I think him coming to my fight, it made a, it made a lot. Man. Because none of my day ones came. And not no, blaming really? them, I mean, not blaming them. I mean, everybody don't have I mean, people got to work, bro. People got, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I don't blame them, bro. They supported me by buying a pay-per-view. Right. Yeah. Like, everybody can't make it. Like, this is this what it is. But uh, he came out for his wife's birthday. I think it was at his birthday. I think it was his birthday. Was it? I don't know. But he came out ce celebrating his birthday, I think. And uh, when I, uh, him just support me being there, it meant a lot. Mm -hmm. it, it, it really meant a lot, man. And, um. Uh, I'll never forget Big D. Like I, like I say, his kids will never, uh, his kids will never uh, be in need. I will always look out for his family, and um, you know, because he always called me and gave me advice, and um, he always called me seeking for advice. It was never like he was too too good for advice, you know. Or um, you know, he 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 helped me, man, and um, a lot of people. He touched a lot of people. A lot of people. Right. That girl, Cat. I seen her. She got on Hellcat. Well, Hellcat. Hellcat. Yeah. She got on no jumper behind. Uh, yeah. No deep. You yeah. know. Yeah. Uh huh. So she gave the props. Deep. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.